So, one of the most requested things that I've had recently for uh, what to make videos on for the streamer stuff uh, is Lightstream. So if you don't know what Lightstream is, it's essentially a way that you can say if you stream off of an Xbox, for example, or mobile, or even, I mean, even a PC to be honest, uh, you can apply overlays and interactive elements to your stream. So the benefit of this is when you stream on Xbox, you can literally position your camera that's pretty much it. You can't do overlays and stuff like that on an Xbox. Uh, using Lightstream, you can basically uh, divert your stream to Lightstream. So Lightstream is like a third party service uh, integrated with Mixer. You can basically divert your stream to Lightstream, apply all the overlays and stuff there, and then the stream gets sent back to Mixer. So you can do amazing quality streams with, say, widgets from Streamlabs or, say, Streamloots. You, you could do all sorts of stuff, loots.com. You, you can basically put interactive elements on your stream, uh, streaming off an Xbox, um, and it's super easy to do. The one requirement is that you have Mixer Pro. Now, um, as a partner, you, you get Mixer Pro anyway, so that's fine, so Mixer Partners it's available too. Uh, Mixer Pro is, at the moment is a monthly subscription on Mixer. Um, I believe it's like $7.99 a month. Um, Honestly, this is one of the benefits of Mixer Pro. I did actually do another video explaining the benefits of that, so make sure you check out in the same season of streamer stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna just give you a really quick rundown on how to uh, how to enable and set up Lightstream. So on Mixer, if you go into your broadcast dashboard and scroll to the bottom, you'll see this section right here. Um, and it's basically the bottom left, this bit here, Lightstream, and it's, it's obviously beta at the moment. Um, the steps you have to do is obviously once you've got Mixer Pro, you can press this Authorize Lightstream Studio button. Um, and then this will give you the option to send your Mixer Stream to Lightstream. Uh, to authorize it, you literally, it just redirects you to Lightstream, you sign in with your account. It is honestly as easy as that. Um, obviously again, you need Mixer Pro to be able to do this step. Um, and if I just close this off, you'll see, here's the Lightstream website. Now once it's all over authorized, you can go to golightstream.com. Um, and you can click on Mixer, although if you do it on the website anyway from Mixer it automatically redirects you to this bit this, But this is more if you get back um, So this is what you'll see uh, So imagine this is your Mixer stream with your game, uh, your, your camera, that sort of stuff there um, You can actually see this live if you're, if you're online, so obviously at the moment I'm not streaming, I'm offline um, You've got different scenes down here, so you could do like starting scenes, you can do um, you can do pages for like uh, be right back, stream offline, main gameplay, or like intermission screens. You can basically do different screens like this. Um, obviously, the main option you'll see here is Mixer feed just up here. So this is actually the stream from Mixer. So think about it from your Xbox. This is your camera, if you've got one plugged into the Xbox, and your gameplay. So you may not want this on a starting screen. Um, that's totally up to you there. Layers are really easy to edit right there. You see you can basically change the name of it You can drag it around. You've got the little pencil icon. You can change the audio levels, which is behind my head right now um, If you want to add more stuff you press on the plus you've got text you can add images You can do slideshows you can add a camera in or microphone um, Which that would be if you say on a PC or something you can add these bits in uh, So webcams cameras and all video devices. It's basically like a scaled down version of OBS uh, obviously mixer feed we've already got added in there the main bit that I think people use Lightstream for is these third-party integrations here so with third-party integrations you can take a simple Xbox stream um, which is essentially just like uh, gameplay and a camera if you choose to and you can make it as good as like a stream well I say it as good as you can make it almost as good as a stream if you're on a full stream PC now the options you got, Bottissimo, this bot right here, a lot of people use this, it's, a, it's obviously a chat bot, a lot of people use it for music as well. So with this bot you can actually do things like song requests, you can have music playing in the back of your stream, which is one thing I know a lot of people want on Xbox. Uh, you, can all, you can also do things like integrate Extra Life, Loots, Merch Room, Pixel Chat, which I did a video of previously where you can do shout out pop-ups, um, you can do uh, chats on the screen, you can do giveaway uh, overlays. Player.me do their own overlay system as well, you can integrate that. Streamjar uh, is another bot that you could do, and uh, Streamlabs. Streamlabs you can't see right now because it's behind me. Streamlabs is the one that I know most people use it for, just, which is just here. Um, Streamlabs do widgets for follows, hosts, subscriptions, donations. Um, they do like chat overlays, 
they do tip jars, they do donation goals, Streamlabs do everything. So you can literally go on Streamlabs uh, and you can put in the URL. So in Streamlabs, uh, it gives you like a browser source URL. Um, essentially all you do is you, you, you put in the URL just like that. So you can see Streamlabs alert, you enter the URL on Streamlabs. Uh, there's a link right there that can take you to straight to it on the Streamlabs dashboard if you're not sure exactly where it is. You can position it exactly where you want, you can scale it, easy enough to delete just off there. Um, yeah, it's, it's incredibly easy to do. As you can see, you can use arrows or hold shift to resize and move objects. It is insanely easy to manage. Um, you can also view the stream output and view, view your chat right here. So this is essentially like a full dashboard. So I know in Streamlabs OBS and I think in the normal OBS now as well, you can add your chat in there. Um, so on this you can essentially you can view what your stream looks like, you can manage your chat, you can chat to people, you can also manage this to like switch scenes. So I believe you can also do this on mobile as well if you visit the same website. You can switch scenes like you do in like OBS or if you use like a stream deck to switch between different scenes. Uh, so yeah, you can essentially make it like a fully fledged stream and this is all third party hosted online which is incredible. Uh, your stream gets pushed out to... Uh, to light stream, you can manage all the overlays, you can upload images, you can put alerts, widgets, everything you want on there. Um, it is incredible what you can do on there. If I'm being honest, I have seen a few people use it have a couple of issues, but obviously that you've got to bear in mind this is a beta. So I have seen a couple of issues before where, say, overlay, overlays briefly disappear or quality briefly drops, stuff like that. But bear in mind again, this is a beta system at the moment, and for a beta system, it is kind of amazing what it can do. Uh, so yeah, that's a quick run through of Lightstream. Uh, obviously, I don't use this myself because I've got a PC fully set up with OBS and Firebot and Stream Deck and all that sort of stuff, so I don't really have any purpose for this. Obviously, if you think about it, this applies to like any stream that you stream to mix you can put stuff on. So bear in mind, if you want to, say, do a mobile stream, um, you, can, you can put overlays and stuff on that as well if you really want to. You, there's not really a limit on what you can do with it. Um, it's, it's pretty incredible actually. Obviously it doesn't necessarily link to many local resources because it is cloud hosted web based sort of thing. So it's more for if you're on an Xbox streaming or if you're on a mobile. Mainly I would say Xbox uh, where you don't have any options for overlays or stuff. Um, you can literally do all the stream on here. Uh, obviously with Xbox you can see chat messages on the screen anyway so you don't necessarily need to view this dashboard here. You could obviously have this on a phone if you want to switch between the scenes that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah. That's my basic rundown of Lightstream. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please let me know either in the comments down below or in my stream, mixer.com forward slash smiler. I will see you in the next video or the next stream.